Simon over there enjoying things with a nice smile. Simon here with 225k. Cards will come up there as they um, put it over the sensor, so we just see the jack of clubs right now for Simon. I'm going to say he's got the king of clubs to go with. Oh, okay. Jared here with two eights know. on the button. I'm going to say eight ace of diamonds. I don't know why. Jared's all in here for 2.3 million. Men win, picks up ace king behind. Men is in the big blind. So Men has a good hand, but he does have to worry about Simon, who opened under the gun and will still be left to act behind him. And does have Men covered should it come to that. So something worth factoring in here. Wow, Men decides to give it up. Yeah, give it up. And Simon oh. quickly folds. We're not going to know what that other card was, no. but it was definitely not a jack. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think it was the Ace of Diamonds that I thought either. Maybe it's your favorite hand, Jack. Jack well, it could have been the Ace of Diamonds. I mean, Ace Jack. It's probably worth a fold there. At least the way that that Simon's been playing so far, right. relatively cautious, not getting in too many crazy hands. So. A bit surprised with uh, the way men played his hand, that fold there, but. I have to say, you know, again, they, they played to 4 a.m. Uh, we resumed today at 4 p.m., and everybody seems in really good spirits, having a good time at the table. Not, not all that to talkative, but uh, moments here, everybody's having a good time. Men's one of those old school players. I mean, he is 63 years old. He is a live player, likely plays very much based on feel. So that was one of those situations in that ace king where not necessarily sure he read the dynamics too well of the table. I mean, there has been a notion for a lot of the players to be picking on Simon a bit, which is something that Jared could have been doing there, not necessarily with a super premium hand. Now here with ace king, he three bets it. Yep. Different situation, yes. But but you're I think you're you're correct in his sort of live reads and But if men knows that people are picking on Simon, especially someone like Jared who's experienced, who has a nice stack to shove, uh, and is on the button in position to be able to, to three bet jam there, then men should likely think that, you know, Ace King is a good hand to, to go with. Maybe he just didn't want to flip if it came down to that, but he, may, he, may he obviously not has to worry about Simon behind right. too, but Sire here makes it 225 with ace nine off. Craig's in the big blind with queen five of hearts. He makes the call. Ace seven four on the flop. Sire picks up the top pair. Craig checks. Sia bets 275,000. Krug flips over the five of hearts accidentally and folds his hand. The 
thank you for tuning in, everyone. You are watching the Season 17 WPT Gardens Poker Festival main event. Final table here at the Gardens Casino. 584 entries, $5,000 buy-in, top 73 places paid, $2.944 million prize pool. Up top, 565K in a Mercedes-Benz SLC Roadster. Great way to start Season 17. If you guys notice, these cards that are in play look a little bit different. That is because they are the fresh and modern Faded Spade cards, the preferred playing cards of the World Poker Tour. Faded Spade just launched their new four-color decks. You can get those now if you go to FadedSpade.com. Don't forget to use code WPT for 20% off anything at w or at FadedSpade.com. And follow them on Twitter, at FadedSpadeCards, for any special promotions, contests, and other company news. Again, that's FadedSpade.com. The code WPT for 20% off. We've got two tens for Craig here against the Jack-8 for Jake. Ace-4-4 four, four flop. Craig checks. And Jake checks. King of Hearts on the turn. Three hundred and fifty K from Craig and that gets the job done. Easy game, easy game. Very easy game. <laughs> I mean they always say the old adage of poker is just be aggressive. Yes. You know, just just bet. You have three ways to win. Either you're already ahead. Bet somebody off the pot or if they call. Got more cards to come, you might get the winning game. Craig Varnell just picked up that pot. He's 35 years old, originally from Queens, over in New York City. More than $1.5 million in live tournament earnings heading into this event. He won a WSB bracelet this year. He cashed in the 25K PLO at the World Series of Poker. A couple of years ago, in 2015, he won WPT 500 Las Vegas at Aria Resort and Casino. He beat out more than 5,000 entries in that event. He also has a previous final table on the World Poker Tour. In season 15, he placed third at WPT Choctaw for more than $300,000. WPT Choctaw will be the next stop on the World Poker Tour, kicking off August 3rd at Choctaw Casino and Resort in Durant, Oklahoma. $3,700 buy-in, yep. $1 million guarantee, and you can say f Come hi to my to my man Sam here. Yeah, say hi. And yes, you can say Sam I am. It doesn't bother me. Did as a child, not not as an adult. Craig here with King Six of Spades on the button. He makes it 250,000 to go. Jake Ace Eight of Spades is in the small blind. Announces that he's all in for just under three million. Quick fold from Jared Griner in the big blind and Craig on the button. And Jake's going to take this one down. That's interesting. Before this hand started, the scoreboard was brought up, and Saya is now currently in second place. It wasn't. But maybe 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago, she was actually uh, the short stack at the table. Uh, she's picked her spots. Uh, she's gotten more chips, become aggressive, like you were saying, Donnie, and she's now in second place overall. Yeah, Simon's up top. Uh, that's where he started the final table. He did fall out of first place to second place for a little bit, but he's back on top. And then it just seems like the other five players are all just kind of switching places mm -hmm. every other hand or so. I see Adam Weinrob is in the chat. Adam Weinrob, WPT Champions Adam. Club member. He said Shop WPT has some great stuff. That is very true. ShopWPT.com, your home for official World Poker Tour gear. Hats, hoodies, shirts, much more. Um, they got chip sets there. They got pretty much everything you need. Golf bags? Golf bags, I know, man. They got a lot of really cool stuff there at ShopWPT.com. So make sure you check it out. Get your official World Poker Tour gear. Increase your table image look like you belong my favorite item that i've had so far is the um the jacket it's got the wpt tournament of champions logo on it but i always struggled at the poker table to wear something that was comfortable 
and kept me warm, but also had pockets strategically placed with zippers because you put in your phone and it falls out on the floor. And so, is that a shot at me for losing my phone the other day? Is that what you're, you're telling no, me? I wasn't I need no, one of these jackets. You're, you're subtweeting yourself there. I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is. It's my. Uh, it's wh what I prefer to wear, not only at the poker table, but uh, I wear it around the office as well. And uh, just really quality merchandise. And shop the VPT is a special little fun promotion running now until midnight tonight. So a couple hours left on that over on their Instagram account at shop WPT. Check it out. It ends at midnight tonight. And make sure you give shop WPT a follow on Instagram. Do it now. <laughs> Definitely. Jared against Saya here. Saya has second pair on a straight draw. After Jared checks, she fired a bet. Jared shoots her a look with his ace high, facing a bet of 325,000. takes it down. I see our media friend Lance Bradley has joined the chat. Lance Welcome Bradley, Lance. author of a new book called The Pursuit of Poker Success, Learn from 50 of the World's Best Poker Players. Really cool book. I was able to pick up my copy during WPT 500 Las Vegas, uh, where we held a special book signing with Lance. And, uh, he was there signing some copy of his books for Club WPT players, some Zynga poker players were there as well. Uh, and then anyone who wanted a copy, really cool book, book from Lance. It's not your typical poker book that tells you how to play jacks on the button or what to do with aces, that sort of thing. Uh, the book takes a look at 50 of the best poker players and dives deep into how they became successful in the game. Um, I mean, you got Antonio Esfandiari, uh, Brian Rast, Fedor Holtz is in there. Greg Merson, Jason Mercier, Jonathan Little, Chris Mormon, lots of WPT champions, Eric Seidel, absolute legend. <laughs> so definitely check it out. That's The Pursuit of Poker Success by Lance Bradley. Do it now. <laughs> That's creeping me out, man. I have, <laughs> I have accomplished <laughs> Simon Lamb here, Queen Jack off, making it 275,000 to go. Jake with two nines makes the call. Simon kicking this hand off under the gun. Jake is in the cutoff seat. Ball from the big blind with 7 6 off. Three ways to the flop. The flop is a four hearts, ten, spades, ten, ten eight, eight, four, eight, rainbow. rainbow. Jake maintains his lead with two nines. A couple straight draws out there for the other two players, men and Simon. Jake's got the blockers with the nines. A nine would be the best card in the universe in terms of entertainment value. Yes. <laughs> entertainment value and destruction at the poker table. Men checks. Simon continues his aggression. Looks like 450,000. 450,000. Jake looks at Simon. Jake looks at men. Jake looks back at Simon. It is interesting. I know we were talking earlier about uh, players who are new to the game. Uh, what Jake is doing there, like before he really is contemplating, he's actually looking to see what men might be doing. And oftentimes, uh, when you're new to poker, you're focusing on what your hand is or what your opponent just did. Uh, but Jake has been playing quite some time, is aware of everyone's presence at the table. And here we go. We're going to see that nine. We got two calls. We got a call from Jake, and we got a call from men going to the turn. Here we go. Turn is the queen of clubs. That vaults Simon into the lead. 
gets a straight draw now. Jake, Jake's still got the nines, though, that uh, everybody's sort of looking for. Donnie's looking for heartbreak mm -hmm. for everyone at the table on the river here. I'm not looking for heartbreak. I'm looking <laughs> for entertainment. I mean, <laughs> there's not much heartbreak when you win $150,000. Well, let's this be serious is, here. This is true. At least in my opinion. It's not a bad day at the office. Men checks. Seven hundred twenty-five thousand bet from Simon. then gives it up. Action over to Mend. He's also going to give it up. Simon is going to take the spot and increase his chip lead. Adds another 1.6 million to his stack. Slow and steady. Simon playing very well. Rolling deep, as they may say. 7.6 million now for Simon Lamp. Third, almost a third of the chips in play. Yep, and almost double second place. Saya Ono, as you mentioned earlier, has moved up to second, 4.475 million in her stack. Jared Greiner is the short stack with 2.25. Jake Schindler, right above him, 2.7 million. Craig Varnell and Men win, bunched up in the middle, in third and fourth place, respectively. Simon Lamb, our chip leader, is 29 years old. Originally from Brooklyn, just relocated out here to Southern California, resides in Irvine. One previous WPT final table under his belt. He took fourth in the season 15 WPT Borgata Poker Open for a quarter of a million dollars. He owns Rolling Deep Ice Cream in Costa Mesa. It's not too far from the office. I mean, it's not to too make far a lunchtime run now. And and I out. think, you know, with this score, he can afford to, to give us some free ice cream, especially <laughs> if we want to sample it. And then for the next stream, we can report back to see if it was good or not. Oh, yeah. So you, you've done your shout-out to your college buddy. You've talked to Hugh Blow about sending them your watch, now free ice cream. That is true. Well done. Mm -hmm. Simon and men in action here. Playing 75k, 125k, and then 125k big blind ante. If those uh, if those blind levels seem a little weird, um, you know, small blinds not half of the big blind. It's because of the big blind ante format and keeping things as efficient as possible, um, so we don't need the smaller denomination chips. So right now you can get away with just 100k's and 25k's on the table keeping things as smooth as possible going forward. So that's why uh, the small blind is 75K, big blind is 125K. You'll see that a lot. Much earlier in the tournament, you saw a 1,500 level with a 1,500 big blind ante. So that's something you guys should get accustomed to seeing across World Poker Tour events going forward as we have switched up, tinkered with our structure. Thanks to Matt Savage for that, WPT Executive Tour Director, founder of the TDA, should be in the Hall of Fame, all that good stuff. Matt is the tournament guru we all know and love. Simon here has got a pair of kings. Men checks his pair of eights. Simon bets 325,000. Men just looks like he hasn't slept. You know, well we know he was tired yesterday yeah. when he was sleeping at the table, but he was moving so slow <laughs> that he just, he looks like he's been up for 72 hours. First thing this morning, he had a lot of energy, was was there for photos, everything. And mm -hmm. He's been taking a bunch of photos with all of his people out there. His friends and family that are there are supporting him on the rail. He gives it up, Simon takes this one down. Another addition to his chip lead. 
There was a conversation earlier at the table when the next break was. It's uh, standard every two hours. Uh, we have a 15 minute break. We are playing 30 minute levels. Or no, sorry. S 60, 60 minute, minute levels, levels. At, the, at the final table. 30 and minutes when we get the heads up. Right. You're thinking. My bad on that. I was, I was fast forwarding time <laughs> and we are not there yet. Thank you everyone for following along, whether you're watching on YouTube or on the WPT Facebook page. We also invite you to follow us on Instagram at World Poker Tour and follow us on Twitter at WPT. All of our social media accounts are regularly pumping out information about our events, our players, fun promos, our talent, the TV show, all that good stuff. So be sure to check us out across the board. Jared here is all in, 2.225 million with pocket aces. Men's got king jack of spades, 40% of a royal flush, Sam. 40%, it's, I like that, I like that, 40% to the royal. That is a, uh, an ode to Phil Locke. All right, well played. No bad beat uh, jackpot here uh, in the tournament. <laughs> But there is a bad beat jackpot here at, at yeah. the gardens. I mean, I feel like every day they're yelling, screaming, <laughs> like five times a day. The Men gives it up here. Great. Simon folds and Craig's going to fold as well. <laughs> Ship those blinds and Annie's over to, over to Jared. You'll notice Jared Griner is sporting a whole bunch of New England Patriots gear. That is his regular attire when he, he runs deep in a tournament. But he's not from New England. He's actually from Utah. He's 32 years old. He's married, no children. Now resides out here in Huntington Beach, California. Regularly plays at the Gardens Casino. Got more than $1.2 million in earnings coming into this event. One official WPT final table under his belt. He came third in the WPT LA Poker Classic back in season 15 for 430K. He also has an eighth place finish from the WPT Legends of Poker not too long ago. So he has a lot of experience here on the World Poker Tour and running deep. Really loves these events, he says. Likes the structure. And then it's always good to just be able to play so close to home and get that comfortable feeling of running advantage. deep and that sort of stuff. So Sleep in your own bed. There is nothing quite like sleeping in your own bed, that's for sure. Saya here with 9-7 of clubs. She makes it 275,000 to go. Men calls with ace, five of hearts. King 5-4, five, one heart. Men's got the lead with a pair of fives. Bet 225 from Sai as she continues her aggression. Men calls. Jack of hearts on the turn. Sai is still second best as men picks up a flush draw. Jack of hearts on the turn. It's coming along for the ride. Yeah, four and a thousand there from Saya. Men sticks around. Eight of hearts, or sorry, eight of spades on the river. Saya can't win unless she gets men to fold. We'll see if she goes for the gusto here. Taking a bit more time here to figure out how she wants to 
play this final street. She checks. I don't see men firing a bet here, although I could be wrong. Yeah. I would be surprised. Looks like I'm going to be wrong. Yeah, me too. I'm I would think the no only thing that player. could call him would be something that would beat him. Yeah, but for men right now, you know, he's not necessarily he's thinking that he has the best hand. He does check behind. Yeah. He's going to take it down. But that's a spot where men might think, you know, I have to bluff to get her off a hand this as well. Is, this is true. So he does have the winner, though. He does check with showdown value. She looks a little bit confused there. Saya looks a little confused, but men did pick up a flush draw on the turn, likely why he didn't go anywhere. If that heart doesn't come, it's going to be hard for men to call yes. a second barrel with, with just second or third pair, whatever he has at that point, depending on what comes in the turn. Saya shaking her head a little bit, lost 900k on that hand. Probably just thinking to herself, I should have bet the river. <laughs> Do it now. Jake in the small blind, he makes the call. Jared's in the big blind with a six off. He checks. A little blind on blind action here. <laughs> King, queen, deuce, rainbow. I see the four color deck in the graphics. The regular cards on the table. But you can get four color decks from Faded Spade. Just head to fadedspade.com. Use the code WPT to get 20% off and get yourself some uh, brand new four color cards. They're pretty awesome. I've always wanted four color cards in the live room. <laughs> I'm happy Faded Spade finally came through with me. Two kings on board. Jake's got the best hand with two pair, kings and fours. Jared just ace high. The two have checked it down to the river so far. Action on Jake. He's gonna bet 150,000. Look to get a little bit of value here. Jared giving him the, hmm, what do you got? Gonna look him up with ace high, but Jake's gonna take this one. As you follow the action, you'll see on the rail there it says Play WPT, Club WPT. If you're looking for some social poker, uh, that's Play WPT. And if you're looking for more of a real tournament experience, uh, you can go over to Club WPT. It's great for um, players who are just getting into the game. Um, if you great to have fun. Yeah, just to have fun and. Uh, Terms and conditions do apply to Club WPT, so you want to uh, check out that when you go to the website. It's not available in all states, so. But what you can do is if it is available in your state, uh, you might see yourself at a final table here. You could win your way uh, into one of our WPT events and get a VIP package and play against the pros. Plenty of players have qualified for WPT events around the world through Club WPT. Most recently, WPT 500 Las Vegas, nearly 40 players qualified to play in that event. Several of them went on to make deep runs in cash for a couple thousand dollars each. And if you pair that up with Learn WPT, you are well on your way to learning the game and then getting actual experience 
learning the strategies. So if you want to head over to learnwpt.com, you can check out their online school as well as live uh, sessions, workshop sessions, and then check out Club WPT. Do it now. And then play <laughs> WPT where skill matters, as they yes. say. Uh, the, s the social gaming platform for the, w the World Poker Tour. Mm -hmm. They just uh, they launched a beta section or a beta testing platform to uh, host your own tournament on Play WPT. Oh, so it's like your own like home game. Oh, own little home game, yeah. So you can get on Play great. WPT. You can invite some friends. You can create your own tournament. Your a lot of fun, friends are traveling or people are all over the world. That's fantastic. So definitely check out PlayWPT.com. Basically, the World Poker Tour has something for all levels of players. Absolutely. As Jake picks up almost 900k with two queens, second time he's had two queens today. We got Play WPT as that sort of entry level poker, fun, social. You don't have to spend any money if you don't want to. After that, you have Club WPT, pay a monthly fee, become a VIP member, get access to more than $100,000 in cash and prizes, or a chance to win $100,000 in cash and prizes every month, get access to the WPT. Uh, database of episodes and a whole bunch more stuff. If you want to improve your game, strategy arm, learn WPT. If you want to take it to the next level, kind of that grassroots poker level, you can look to a WPT 500 event, uh, notably coming up August 18th down the road, Bicycle Casino in Southern California is hosting WPT 500 Los Angeles, $570 buy-in, $1 million guarantee, huge bang for your buck there. Several starting flights. Uh, the, the tournament's running August 18th through 27th, so if you're in the area or if you want to come in and play some poker, definitely check that out. After that, WPT Deep Stacks. They have events anywhere from $1,000 to $2,500 all over the country. Just check out WPTDeepStacks.com. And then the biggest one of them all, the WPT Main Tour. Buy and start at $3,500 and go up from there. And then, of course, all of our various festivals have, you know, outside of the main events, have different buy-in levels, 200, 100. Some have 25Ks. There was a 25K here at, at Gardens that generated uh, 18 entries. First place was 225K. It was won by Elio Fox. Uh, Taylor Black got second for 135K. And then um, Tyler Cornell, 90,000 for third place. So if you got 25K lying around, yeah. I'm sure we can find an event for you on the World Poker Tour, that's for sure. And and if you don't, satellites are a great way to go through. I, and I know even for so for the main event here, Gardens guaranteed 40 sa satellite seats into the main event. Uh, but they also ran a step satellite into that high roller, that 25K. So always be on the lookout of, at your local casino for opportunities if you're on a budget uh, to play your way into a main event. Uh, and an added benefit here at the Gardens Casino is year-round. This is a WPT-branded tournament room where you can play satellites and win your way to any main tour on the WPT. So you can play here, win a voucher, apply those funds to a WPT event on our schedule. So we've got men and Simon seeing a flop. Because of the blind levels here, men has to bet 125. Has a minimum bet. Top pair versus a straight draw. And now a pair for Simon. Simon Neely has double the second place player at this stage. Yeah, two through six are just really bunched up. He's just all up top there on his own. Eight of spades on the river. Men has the best hand. He reaches for chips, but then he checks, and Simon quickly checks behind. Men's going to take this one down with a pair of jacks. Yeah, we go back now, and if you're just joining the live stream, you'll look at Simon being a top and just say, oh, it must be easy when you've got all those chips. But you remember, Donnie, there was a section there where the table was sort of picking on him, for lack of a better Running term. Running him over. And I think 
sometimes in a situation like that, a player may start to change things up or try to make moves that they're not comfortable with, but he really had the presence of mind just to still stay methodical and assess each situation, and you'll see he's reaped the benefit of it. And in sh short term, sure, there was a little part there you were like, what, what's going on here? But uh, he's he stayed slow and steady. You know, he's been playing really well. He didn't really waver at all after that adversity early on. And resiliency, too, on, on Saya's part. You know, you know, she was the short stack here for a while. She had been in the top three for a while. Uh, lost a couple hands, was in the bottom, but stuck with it and got back up towards the top. So nobody is uh, nobody's going away easy here. No, very tough final six. Men here raising to 325,000 with ace, deuce of hearts. Simon behind him with ace, queen off. Another 30 seconds on the action clock for Simon. Simon in the small blind. He's going to three bet here. And here we go. Craig's got two tens in the big blind. The stack size is now. Simon's three bet is to 925. Craig with a little more than 3.2 million behind. Can certainly see him four bed jamming here. He does have to be a little concerned with Simon being the one three betting because Simon has been pretty snug throughout throughout play, especially at this final table. Earlier, if you remember, Craig Craig gave up two nines yes. in a similar sort of spot. So now he's got two tens here, another tough decision in front of him. Because so it has to go back to men who was the original raiser. If I'm Craig, I'm not too worried about men here. It's more about uh, what's going on with Simon. You know, we've if Craig's got any information of how the, the final table's been playing out, um, He's known that uh, men has been opening some some <laughs> very questionable holdings. Jack six. He's been thinking about a jack deuce. He's been getting in there and mixing it up. Simon, on the other hand, has been fairly straightforward. You know, pretty tight and snug. And there we see uh, we see Craig give up two tens. And I think that's why it took him a little it. bit longer there because if it was just Simon normally raising in that situation, he'd probably give him credit. But three betting men, he might be thinking, well, maybe he's trying to take away from men, yep. and maybe he's weaker than he otherwise would be. Men gives it up there. Simon takes this one down. Adding to his chip lead. I think he'd look good in that Mercedes-Benz that's out front. If you haven't heard, right in the front lobby here at the Gardens Casino is the brand new Mercedes-Benz SLC ro Roadster, which the winner of today's event will win. That's courtesy of the Gardens Casino in addition to the $200,000 they added to the prize pool. Trying to be the best play in LA, oh as their motto goes. Simon here opening it up with a raise to 275k with a6. Shaking the big blind. 10 5 of diamonds, he makes the call. Ace, 10, 4, all spades. You're right, things look better in spades. They do. The ace of faded spades is out there. Ace of faded spades. Check, check, turn eight of diamonds.
200k from Jake. Simon makes the call. Four of hearts on the river pairs the board. Simon with the best hand, Jake checks. Simon checks behind, doesn't elect to try and extract any more value. He's going to take this one down. Another addition to his chip stack. And the towers grow. Adam Weinrob in the in the Facebook chat asks who we have commentating. You have myself, Donnie Peters, and alongside me, Sam Cariotti, both of the World Poker Tour. Adam, you've met both of us. You know that. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Had a lot of people from all over the world, from New Zealand, from all over Europe, yeah. Australia, all over the U.S. I don't think I saw anyone from Canada, so if you're watching from Canada, give us a shout in the, in the chat. Let us know where you're from. Um, we had someone from Panama, so we got okay. Central America covered. Um, didn't see anyone from South America, so if anyone's down there, give us a shout. Give and a uh, shout. Yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. Yeah, we've been going here since uh, 4 o'clock Pacific time. I think early on when we first started, there was a gentleman in uh, England was watching. Yes, yes. he said he was at work. I haven't I haven't seen him mentioned. Hopefully yeah. he didn't get fired. <laughs> I mean, I understand. <laughs> like, poker takes work over precedence. Or, over, or sorry, poker takes precedence over work. So <laughs> stumbling over <laughs> my words here, but yes, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Simon here staying on the gas, raised to 275,000. Simon appears to be feeling it a bit, yeah. uh, opening it up a little bit more. He's been raising the past couple of pots. Changing some gears here. Which is fine, can certainly, uh, can certainly take advantage of his image at the table. Well, it's an interesting dynamic, too, that you were saying earlier, like it's in the middle of the field now, it's just tightened up. Earlier, uh, he was really sort of protecting his uh, chip lead. And now those players that are sort of hanging on, he's treating this almost like a bubble in a way, it seems, and engaging a little bit more. We got someone from Toronto in the box, Eric Login. Hope I didn't butcher that last name, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Oslo, Norway. Alabama, Cincinnati, Ohio. Nice. Cincinnati, Ohio. What's wrong with the Bengals, man? Can you get a better owner of that football team? <laughs> Buffalo, New York. I grew up there. Ontario, Canada. There you go. We got men raising there with Ace King. Around to Jake on the button. Folds. Turn in the small blind. And then takes it down pre flop. Tyler, Texas. Uh, Chris Mays from Tyler, Texas. What's going on, Chris? Thanks for tuning in. We got Columbia. David from Columbia says it's 10 10 p.m. there. Two hours ahead of us. Hopefully, you're ready for a long night. Get that coffee brewing. <laughs> Mike Barba, Toronto, Canada. Alex Humphreys, the UK. It's 4 a.m.